Good morning. It is uh, great to be back here at St. Michael's. I haven't celebrated Mass with you for quite a while. However, I hope that all of you are hanging tough and that you uh, are very careful and use wisdom as you um, go out now because our state seems to be open and so many of the businesses and all. And I'm not saying that's bad, but we have to be very careful. So I just uh, ask that you think about that. And, and I'm also going to ask uh, that you wear a mask when you're out. Um, you know, some people don't like wearing masks. I do understand that, but uh, so often you probably that you know, we're, we're wearing a mask, not for myself. You're not wearing a mask for yourself. You're wearing a mask for the other person. That if you, God forbid, have anything, you're not going to infect them. So maybe if we think about it that way, that wearing a mask is an unselfish act. Let us begin as we begin all our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We offer our Mass together this morning for Chuck Colley. To prepare ourselves to worthily celebrate this sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who assigned St. Matthias, a place in the College of Cardinal Apostles. Grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. And we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was a lot of a share in his ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph, called Marsavus, who was also known as Justice and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in, his, in this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. The responsorial son of the Lord will give him a seat 
with the leaders of his people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Who is like the Lord our God who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the dunghill, he lifts up the poor, to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. The Lord will give him a seat with the leaders of his people. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be yours and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, today we are celebrating the feast of St. Matthias, the the man who was chosen to uh, take the place of Judas. So there would be, once again, there would be 12 apostles. Have you ever thought, I have occasionally, of what Joseph Bostavus must have felt, or how he must have felt? You know, he was one of the two who was nominated, it was Matthias and Joseph Moscatus. And he was the one who was not chosen. But you know, I think that's the second time he wasn't chosen, and maybe more. The second time because it says, Peter is saying, we need to choose someone who has been with us from the very beginning, from the time of John's baptism, right up to the resurrection was someone who was a star, was a witness to the resurrection, someone who saw the ascension. We need someone who's been with us always. So if this Joseph Postavus was one of those people who was a disciple for the whole time that Jesus was here and ministering, then in a sense, Jesus also didn't choose him. You know, he didn't choose this man who was there from the beginning be one of his twelve. And then we also read in uh, Acts about a man named uh, Judas Barsabbas. 
Judas Barsabbas. And uh, many scholars believe that this is Joseph Barsabbas' brother. Now, Judas was chosen to go with Paul and Barnabas, go off and to preach to the Gentiles once again after the uh, Council of Jerusalem. So here again, Joseph was not chosen. But he hung in there. He hung in there. And, you know, I think all of us need at times someone we can talk to that has hung in there. I think that uh, we could say that Joseph Barsabbas could be the patron saint of hanging in there. During these days, these difficult days, when we're facing this uh, virus, so many of us, in many ways, have had to hang in there. You know, whether it was business owners, or, or, uh, or gym owners, or barbers, or whatever, or even us at home. You know, we had to hang in there. Things weren't just the way we wanted them to be. They didn't go our way. In there. We needed someone like Joseph Barsabbas as a model of hanging in there. We know Joseph, in a sense, was rejected. I think that all of us, at some point in life, have felt that. You know, that we weren't chosen. It might have been for a team. It might have been that you weren't chosen as first chair in the school, the school band. It might have been that someone else, you know, was chosen in a relationship rather than us. You know, there's so many ways, perhaps, that we weren't chosen for a promotion. And we know how that feels. And it's at that, those times, I think that we need to stay close and pray to God and open ourselves more completely and ask uh, Joseph Barsabbas to pray for us, to talk to him. We believe in the communion of saints, that we can talk to our saints, that we can ask them for intercession. There are times like that that we really have to... Um, Trust, trust in God, and trust that He is holding our hands, and that the anxiety that we feel that our, of ourselves of being incomplete and in suspense, we need to trust God. So today, what I do is really is I'm lifting up to you and suggesting to you that we have an absolutely marvelous, great model in Joseph Barsabbas. Now, it's Matthias' feast. I really didn't mention him. But uh, Joseph Barsabbas is also a saint, and his feast day is July 20th. With confidence in God's mercy, we present our needs and those of the world to our loving Father, for the Church and all her ministers, that they may bring God's love to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and our community, that we may be committed to bring peace and justice into the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all the deceased, especially those who have died of the coronavirus, that they may rest in the peace and glory of God. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for Chuck Collins, whom we remember in a special way during this Mass. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the intentions of the parish prayer line the intentions of the parish prayer box, and our own special intentions. We pray.
praise for the Lord. Loving Father, we offer all these prayers through your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept these sacrifices at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them, Strengthen us by the power of your grace, through Christ our God. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always. So that it may be governed by those who have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. With the, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be, to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with all of you at home. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. This time, I'm going to pray with and for you an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts. And through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the bond of the saints in life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another at home. And uh, again, I, I wish you all the best, and I look forward to seeing you uh, in person. And also, I, I just once again want to remind you to uh, just be careful. Uh, this is uh, nothing to take lightly, and uh, so just stay safe, love one another.